you very much. Um, hi, my name is Madeline. Thanks for coming to my senior recital. Um, the theme of tonight, uh, as you may have guessed, um, um, is Melba Liston, um, who is a great trombonist, composer, and arranger um, who started working uh, in the 1940s. Um, that first tune we did uh, was Pow by Leonard Feather, and it was um, a key track on her first and only album that was recorded under her own name. Uh, and that second tune was Melba's Mood, which she wrote uh, and was performed by Benny Green and Charlie Roos. Um, we're gonna slow it down a little bit, and we're gonna play a ballad for you that Melba wrote, and it's called Just Waiting. Mm-hmm. 
Thank you very much. Um, the next tune we are going to do features my good friend Ethan Graves. Give it up. Um, Melba Liston uh, always thought of herself more uh, as a composer and arranger than anything else. Um, so oftentimes um, her tunes were never performed by her. It was rare. Um, so we're gonna do another tune that she wrote but uh, never recorded herself. Um, this tune's called Green Street and it was written for Benny Green uh, and Charlie Roos on tenor sax. Um, but I've arranged it for two trombones because why would you need a saxophone when you could have a trombone? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
did was Blues Melba, a blues written by Melba, if you, if you could guess. Um, I'm going to take a second to introduce the rhythm section. We've got Tony Flanagan on the drums. And we have Alex Sagert on the guitar. Um, and Robert Allen on the bass. Uh, and then Ethan Graves, of course, on the trombone, and Tori Greenan, also on the trombone. Um, this next tune that we're going to...
gonna do is one that I wrote, um, taking inspiration from Melba's life, uh, being a woman in a male-dominated industry. Um, as one could imagine, uh, she suffered a lot of pushback and discrimination, um, and just a lot of a lot of things. Um, and yet, she kept. She never let that stop her from doing what she loved, which was music. So. Uh, this is a tune that I wrote um, in honor of that. It's gonna feature Robert, um, and it's called A Pill. Thank you. 
this next tune we're going to do, um, Melba spent uh, quite some time uh, playing for, writing for, and arranging for the Dizzy Gillespie Big Band. Um, so in true Dizzy Gillespie fashion, I would just like to introduce the band once again. This tune is a <laughs> actually a romantic era classical piece um, that Melba arranged um, for the Dizzy Gillespie Big Band, uh, and I stripped it down to just six of us. Um, so we'll see how that goes. This is uh, Annie's dance.
are down to our last tune of the night. So I have some thank yous. Uh, first, to my amazing band. Um, and my stage manager, Liam, for making sure my trombone stand doesn't fall. Thank you. And for everyone in the back doing lights and sound in the live stream, couldn't do it without you. Um, and to all my family and friends that are here, I got people from all across the prairies who came out for tonight. And a lot of people from high school, hello. Thanks for coming. <laughs> And my partner, Jacob, for being the best and listening to me. Hey! <laughs> yeah! Um, there will be no Jacob slander if I have anything to say about it. Um, and then lastly, um, my teachers over the past four years, um, I wouldn't be where I am today without any of them. Uh, Craig Brennan and Ray Barry, and special thanks to Ken Reed, who actually um, taught me in grade 12 um, as I prepared for my audition, and then he taught me this last semester leading up to my recital. So it's like a full circle, Ken sandwich. So <laughs> shout out to Ken. Um, our last tune is entitled Mischievous Lady, uh, and it was written by Dexter Gordon, who's a great saxophonist you've probably heard of. Um, they actually went to school together, he and Melba, um, so he wrote this tune for her, um, and they recorded it together um, at her first ever recording session, and she was 21, and I'm 21. That's so cute, so. Um, <laughs> Thought it was a good, good ender for the night. Uh, thank you everyone so much for being here. Uh, this is Mischievous Lady. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you so much.